Mathematics Lesson 12, we will begin with reviewing chart six. Let's go through it. See, K says k, 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 and duck. E says E, 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 and me. O says O, 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 and go. Y says I, 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 and fly. A, Y says A, 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 and pray. S, T says T, 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 and stop. P, L says pull, 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 and play. F, R says fur, 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 and frog. T, R says chur, 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 and train. S, H says sh, 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 sh and ship. T, H says th, 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 and thick. T, H says th, 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 and this. B, L says bull, 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 and block. C, L says pull, 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 and clock. F, L says full, 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 and flake. G, L says glue, 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 and glue. Okay, we've learned majority of the sounds. So far, we've done all the way up until T, R. So we're going to do what's called a clue card review, which means I will show you the sound, and then I will describe a word on the back, then I'll turn it over, and you have to guess the word before I turn it back. So hopefully you can read them quickly. So this one is CK that says k, 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 and duck. This is what you do to your door whenever you leave your house. Ready? I hope you said lock because that was the word, lock. Next one. E says E, 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 and me. This is whenever you and someone are together, you would say, hope you said we, we. Next one, O says O, 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 and go. This is the opposite of yes. I hope you said no. Next one, A, Y says A, 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 and pray. This is what we do when we go outside or we go to the park. We, mm, hope you said play. I hope you're saying it before I turn it back around. S, T says t, 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 and stop. This is, so we have east and then we have, hope you said west. Next one, PL says pull, 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 and play, plane. This is what you have to have. So say if you want to go out of town and do something, you have to have a what? No, go back, erase that part. Next one, PL says pull, 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 and plane. This is what you put food on. You can eat off of this. Oh, I hope you said plates. Last one, F, I'm sorry, no, FR says fur, 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 and frog. This is what you put photos in. I hope you said frame. Next one, TR says chur, 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 and train. This is what you give a dog when they obey or they listen to you. I hope you said treats. Okay, so this is Fonny's Clue Cards. We will see this more and more when we do our Thursday Zooms. We'll probably play games using these. So that's going to be fun. Yesterday, we also learned syllables. Remember, syllables are parts of a word. Whenever we want to figure out how many syllables are in a word, we clap it out to figure it out. So I have a few words here. So let's do the first one, which is well, well, one syllable. Next one is ocean, ocean, that's two syllables, two parts. Next one, swordfish, swordfish, that's two. Next word is jellyfish, jellyfish, two again. Next one, tuna, tuna, two. And last one, shark, shark, only one, good. So all of them had either one or two, none of them had any more than that, so syllables. All right, so in your phonics and language 
language you've been learning, how to write sentences. We've also been doing that in writing as well. So I want to teach you a symbol that I will start to use whenever we have to capitalize something. Whenever you need to capitalize a word or a letter, let's say capitalize a letter, you put this, this symbol underneath the letters. It's three lines. Let me show you. My friend's name is Ben. This is my sentence. By looking at it, we already know we did not start with the capital letter. So how I show, what I do to show that I need to capitalize it is I put the three lines, but only underneath the letter that needs to be capitalized. Not the entire word, only the letter, because I did need to capitalize this M. So by putting these three lines underneath it, I am showing that this needed to be a capital M. My friend's name is Ben. Ben, boy's name, proper noun, that also needs to be capitalized. So I will put the three lines underneath the B and Ben to show that that needed to be capitalized. So you will start to do this in your phonics and language. And also whenever we do our sentences in writing, whenever I correct them, I will put this symbol underneath it to show that it needs to be capitalized. So again, anytime a letter needs to be capitalized on a word, you put the three lines only underneath that letter, not underneath the whole word, because then you're saying the entire word needs to be capitalized. You only put it underneath the letter that needs to be capitalized, okay? That symbol means capitalization. And so we'll learn other symbols like correcting, um, inserting, taking something out, spell check. We'll learn all those different symbols um, over the school year. So capitalize. Last part of our lesson is we are going to do special sounds, S-H and T-H. Remember, T-H says two sounds. It says th and it says th. So it just depends on the word and that, uh, to determine which TH to say. So let's look at our first one. Let's mark our vowel first. We have a short vowel O that says ah, and then let's circle the TH where it is moth. Moth. The moth is like a butterfly. Next one. Let's circle my special sound TH. Let's mark the vowels. Long I, silent E, where it is thine. Next one, let's circle my special sound. I only have one vowel, smiley face. The word is thump. Next one, circle TH, only one vowel, smiley face, A. Word is that. Next one, smiley face over the A, circle TH, word is bath. And then the last one, I have two vowels, long A, silent E, circle my special sound TH, the word is bathe. Let's read them. Moth, thine, thump, that, bath, bathe. That special sound S-H, sh, T-H, and T-H, th. Okay, that's our complete phonics lesson today. You are doing workbook pages 23 and 24 on today. We review chart six syllables, how to mark a word when it needs to, a letter when it needs to be capitalized, and we review these special sounds. That's it for finance.